Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Where Amazing Happens. I'm David Laurie. He's Daniel Robinson. Today, we're going to be talking about um, the NBA playoff races, who we think contenders and who we believe aren't contenders. And um, Dan, I have to ask you, who is your favorite in the West to uh, win this, this year's NBA title? Yeah, that's, that's going to be a tough one for me, but I honestly think it might be Golden State this year. I mean, that, that offense, like, there's really no stopping that offense. You got two dominant bigs, as in Andrew Bogan and David Lee coming off the bench. You got all types of three-point shooters out there. So what, what are you, you going to do? If you all go out, then you just leave them room for Andrew Bogan to rebound and get the offensive put back. So what, what are you going to do about that offense? So that's my pick. What about you? Um, if I had to pick, I would have to say the San Antonio Spurs. Because of sheer experience, you know, I'm kind of the, the experienced guy. Mm-hmm. I like to go with guys, you know, who have been in that position before and know what it takes to win. And um, they're so selfless. They have a lot of glue guys and and um, Tony Parker running the show. I just right. think that they have the best chance to win. Uh, you know, just playing cohesive basketball, the ball doesn't stick. And in the playoffs, you have to have that because the right. game slows down so much. Right. So I'm going to go with the, uh, the San Antonio Spurs. Now, um, moving on to the uh, the East, who do you believe has the best chance to win the title this year? Uh, now, this is a tough one because everybody knows it's, everybody's going to say Cleveland Cavaliers because they've just been on the up and up since LeBron came back from that injury. But, you know, I probably wouldn't say Cleveland. I'd probably say, whew, you got you to gotta be with me on this one. I'd probably say the Atlanta Hawks. Probably because they're all a team, even though some of them don't have that much playoff experience, but if you look at Cleveland, the only one that has winning playoff experience is probably LeBron James, Mike Miller, James Jones, probably because they was on that team. Agreed. But you look at Kyrie, you look at Kevin Love, who never been to the playoffs, you, you just don't know how it's going to be. You know? Agreed. But Atlanta Hawks, I feel like they're going to bring that Spurs, East, like East Conference Spurs into the playoffs the way they play. I mean, you make a great point, you know. Right. With the Atlanta Hawks, you know, being a defensive team, as I said, the game slows down. But if it was up to me, I w- I'm going to have to say Cleveland. Um, like I said, I understand that, you know, Kyrie hasn't been there. Kevin Love hasn't been there. LeBron has. LeBron yes. has won championships. He's won. And yeah. he's the best player on the planet. And he just makes guys around him better. And you gotta, you got you to gotta love Kyrie's ability to score the ball. Right. And um, Kevin Love's ability to get it going. So right. you, you really can't um, count Cleveland out. And I, honestly, the biggest addition to their team, to, to me, is Timothy Mosgo. Yes, and I think he's inside. going to be the anchor inside defensively, you know, altering shots and um, finishing under the rim. So I'm going to have to say um, Cleveland. But, I, I, you know what I mean? I really like your pick of Atlanta. And um, going back to the Western Conference, I really think that um, L.A. Clippers have a, a good chance to win it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going out on a limb here, but just hit me out. With Chris Paul running the show, right? Right. In the playoffs, you only have to be good for a certain amount of games. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's not like a long stretch, like a season. Right. And I believe that they can beat any team in the NBA in a seven-game series, just because because of Chris Chris Paul's headiness, his um, you know, savviness, and and they got Blake Griffin who can score on the inside. You know, he could get bigs in foul trouble. Right. DeAndre Jordan blocking shots and ultimate shots. That front court is phenomenal. Right. You know, if those role players can step up on a night-to-night basis, I, I think for sure the Clippers can beat anybody. So, they, I know the Clippers has the players to win a title, to win a title, but do you think they have the tools? As in, you know, what did they run up against Golden State again, who they've been struggling against all season this year? And just last night, you know, I'm... I'm not even going to get into that. Yeah, but you know. you're speaking of one play, you have to understand that that game was close. Yeah, the game was. was won in the last two possessions. Right. So, like I said, they have the ability to, to, to beat the Clippers. If they can string together good defensive games, they can beat anybody. Okay. Offensively, they can score the basketball in a multitude of ways. I, I, just, have to, I just have to say I really like Cleveland. And uh, another question I had was, um, are you adamant about – the Thunder making the playoffs. Do you think that they'll make the playoffs over the Pelicans? Because now mm-hmm. AD's back. He's playing right. well. How do you feel about the Thunder um, making the playoffs? Well, all I really have to say about it is, is Westbrook's show. Westbrook's play will determine if the Thunder get into the playoffs or not. He has a slump. Who's going to pick it up for him? You know? So Westbrook, he has to take this show, and he has to go right into the playoffs with it. 
no telling how far he's going to get in the playoffs, but, you know, getting into the playoffs, that'll give him more credibility. As for the Pelicans, that's, that's kind of tough, you know, because AD, he's, you know, he's coming back from that shoulder injury, and, you know what I'm saying, he's just becoming the leader of that team at such a young age, you know, and playoff experience between Westbrook and AD, you know. So, I mean, it really just wants it bad enough. I, I would agree. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of Where Amazing, Amazing Happens. Happens. I'm David Laurie. And I'm Dan Robinson. See you guys next week.